Epidermix 372 and Epidermix 318. Epidermix 372 is a two-part epoxy that can be used in the following ways. As a general purpose adhesive for most materials, excluding certain plastics and stainless steel. As a filler where it may be bodied with fine materials such as wood flour, silica sand and talc to match the material being filled. As an epoxy grouting medium for fixing dowels and bolts horizontally into concrete and rock. Epidermix 318 is a two-part epoxy. It is used as a general purpose adhesive for repairing and patching defects in concrete and fiber cement products. This video serves as an instructional video on the key steps on how to use the product as well as helpful tips. Step one, surface preparation. Any surface to be treated must be clean, mechanically sound and dry. It must be free of foreign matter such as oil, grease, paint, dust, debris and any other form of contamination. Refer to the respective product's data sheet for the preparation of specific surfaces. Step 2. Mixing. Set up carefully measured quantities of each component side by side on the mixing plate. Do not mix until application site operations are ready. Use separate tools to remove each component from its container, thus preventing contamination. With putty knives, paint scrapers or similar flat tools, mix the two components until a completely homogeneous material result. Epidermix 372 should be mixed by a volume of two base to one activator. Epidermix 318 should be mixed by a volume of one base to one activator. As a general purpose adhesive, approximately one liter of mixed epidermix covers one square meter to a thickness of one millimeter. For epidermix 372, the maximum application thickness is up to 15 millimeters. And for epidermix 318, the maximum application thickness is up to 25 millimeters. It is important to refer to the properties of the mixed material such as the pot life, the curing time and the overcoat time. Step 3. Application Make use of a putty knife or trowel to apply the mix. Epidermix 372 as an adhesive should be spread onto the face of one adherent thickly enough to extrude when both faces are mated. Bonded mating faces must be kept under compression until the adhesive layer has set. Remove excess adhesive immediately for reuse on other units. If prevention of staining of faces is important, a release agent should be used and care being taken to see that it does not affect the mating faces. Epidermix 372 as a filler should be smoothed into place using a trowel or similar tool. Mix Epidermix 318 should be pressed into place in the repair area using a small amount first to wet out the surface and then building up the required thickness. The viscosity of Epidermix 318 is enough to hold its place in soffit repairs and on vertical faces. If the volume is too big to repair in one placing, leave the contact surface rough to act as a key for a subsequent placing once the first one has set. A final smooth finish may be obtained by trialing off the surface of the still uncured Epidermix 318 with a water dampened steel trowel. Step 4. Cleaning. Tools and mixing equipment should be cleaned immediately after use and before material has set with ABE Super Brush Cleaner followed by washing with soap and water. Step 5. Protection on completion. If used as a filler and an epoxy coating is required, allow a minimum of 12 hours and a maximum of 48 hours before commencing with the epoxy coating. That concludes our instructional video. Please keep in mind that this video contains only the key steps on how to use this product. 
For detailed instructions and more technical information, please refer to the product's data sheet and methodology documents that can be found on our website at www.abe.co.za or call ABE Construction Chemicals on 011 306 9000. Thank you.